for today's project I have another Dollar Tree DIY for your rats. Now you're going to need a few items and these come packaged a couple of different ways. You're going to want these just pretending dress up fun bangle bracelets and I've seen them packaged this way and I've seen them packaged like this where it's in this little plastic bag. These come in several shapes. There's hearts. There's circles. And there's butterflies. I've also seen these, but I only got one pack of those. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with them right now. You're gonna want at least two, if not three packs of whatever shape you pick. And you're also gonna want Dollar Tree's nylon cable ties. I'm gonna be working with the circles today. First, we're going to open them. And we're gonna open these. Now, this should give you about six of each color. I'm gonna adjust this because the light is just awful. Let's try moving this. My colors. And I'm going to decide what kind of pattern, if any, I want. Now, I have an odd number left. So I have enough purple to do another row. But not enough of anything else. But I think it's still going to look cute. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to connect the rows this way. I'm going to start with my blue ones. Don't zip tie it too tight. I just want it enough that it holds it like this. See how there's space there? Repeat that all the way down your row. camera angle. I was killing my neck trying to work around the camera. So when you have your whole row, it should look like this. Then I'm going to use these, but you can use scissors. I just happen to have my tin snips handy. So we're going to cut the extra. Now, once you've cut it, you can't adjust it anymore, so make sure it's the way you want. I'm going to repeat this process with the rest. Okay, so here's a good example. This is too tight because the rings are not laying flat. They're trying to overlap, so I'm going to have to cut that one off and redo it. going to connect the rings together. Ourselves 
some cute little rings that you can hang in your cage like those scarf holders. To fasten it in the cage, all you need to do is use pipe cleaners, zip ties. I have pipe cleaners and lanyard hooks, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to use zip ties and I'm just going to make an extra loop on each corner and put a hook through it. And then I'm just going to trim the ends off again. Now you may be wondering why I told you to do it loosely. Well that is so that you can fold it up like this. To store it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down and let me know why in the comments below. Constructive criticism is actually very helpful for me, and as long as you're polite about it, I don't mind it very much, really. Um, you know, we all have our bad days, but most of the time I'm okay with it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to find out more about when I post cage tours, DIYs, or the miscellaneous mischief that we get up to. Bye! Thanks for watching.